All right, so today what I'm doing is working on the like center frame section of the car. Um, I'm building like a, a kind of a new version of all the pieces that I'd made um, just because I wanted to make a bunch of little tweaks to a whole bunch of the different parts um, just to make it more accurate and realistic um, to the real car. Um, but what I found, and this is a problem that I've only just discovered, is that this like five millimeter thick um, foam board that I use for um, like heaps of the construction on the car actually like varies slightly in thickness depending on like where you buy it from and what the brand is and and even like different batches vary slightly so so like this this particular piece here could be like 5.2 millimeters thick and the next piece that I cut um, parts from it could be like 4.9 millimeters thick which doesn't really sound like a problem but the way that I've designed this um, side and sill section of the car, see how, see how it's like laminated um, about like six different pieces of foam board stuck together with a bit of 1000 GSM cardboard in the, in the middle. So when you do that, when you stick them all together, the final piece ends up being a certain width, right? But if each of these pieces of foam board is um, slightly different thickness to um, a different, the other, another one that I've made on a different day from different pieces of foam board, um, the, the overall width can vary quite a lot. And so um, these these side sections attached to this to this bottom chassis piece um, via um, you know some some slots that I've cut into it, um, and they are spaced out at a certain width. Um, but if I know that these are going to be um, different widths um, uh, at different times. The problem is I, I don't know how um, how wide those slots should be. So when um, did you discover that? Discovered it last night. <laughs> that's not, that's Was that fun? <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, what that means is I'm going to have to like redesign these piece, these sections, these side pieces, um, to not be dependent on the width of that foam board so much and I think I've got an idea about how to do it but it just means um, spending more time redesigning the sections and rebuilding them which is frustrating because I wanted to get on to other parts of the model um, over the next few days. But And how long did this piece that you have to rework, how long did this take and how much of it do you have to redo? Uh, so like the design of each of these sections here is like there's probably like weeks worth of work in there because um, each each like this unit is made up of about um, nine or ten individual pieces each one that I've you know created from scratch um, and designed to be a certain way and now I need to change all those so well not all of them but um, quite a few of them so yeah and what um what are the design changes you made that are different from this piece to the original. Oh, so what I've got sitting in the um, in the uh, main model at the moment is this. This is a previous version of the center section through here, um, and there's a bunch of changes. So I've added, I've added these um, chassis rail sections in here. I've added tabs for um, top um, frame, rear frame rails to be attached to. Um, I've made cutouts in here so that when the there'll be like a radiator that sits in here later on, so that there's more space to, um, for to, to be able to see the radiator in there. Um, I've made some changes to this area here um, and up the front as well. See how this is just like flat at this point, whereas on the new version, there are these. I've incorporated these mounts now for the um, dashboard unit that was set in here later on. I haven't designed the dashboard unit yet, but. Is that See, that piece of paper that's sitting in there at the moment is kind of just like a rough, a very, very rough prototype of, of the size of the dash and the shape of it. Um, but there will need to be like an underlying structure made out of foam board um, that sits in there and attaches somehow and that will go over it. So, uh, 